This Guanzo weighs about 450 pounds, while a Keeley only weighs about 350, 360. We'll be. So as you can see, Guanzo's a lot bigger than a Keeley. With that large mane of his, Guanzo has. Sorry, let me start over. Guanzo developed that mane as a result of producing testosterone. It is a secondary sex characteristic. If you were to castrate a young male lion, he would not grow a mane like Kwanzaa has. The older Kwanzaa gets, the darker his mane will become. So if you see a lion with a black mane, it means that he is an older lion. In the wild, lion, male lions will live to be about age 10. At that point in time, a younger lion will be taking over his pride and he will have to defend it and usually lose his life. A male lion will rule over a pride for about 3.2 years. This is part of the reasons that males have to switch between prides and females do not. A female lion, once born into a pride, will generally stay in that pride her entire life. If you can imagine, at 3.2 years of age, the male lion is traded out, then that younger female is just starting to get into reproductivity and will be able to have her own lion cubs with a different male lion that is not related to her. Male lion cubs at the age of two will be leaving their pride, but they will stay within their home pride range. They're not going to venture out on their own quite yet. They can group up with one to four male lions, and that will be a coalition of male lions when they are not in a pride. The male lions will become a nomadic male lion because they don't have a pride or a home range. So they will wander in between prides around the age four. They will start this wonderful.